Hey guys, today we're going to be reading scary stories to tell in the dark. Dark. This is going to be really scary, airy, and for the second time we have mommy now. Hello. Alright, let's start. A boy was digging at the edge of the garden when he saw a big toe. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck on something. So he gave it a good hard jerk and it came off right in his hand. Then he heard something groan and scamper away. The boy took the toe into the kitchen and showed it to his mother. It looks nice and plump, she said. I'll put it in the soup and we'll have it for supper. <laughs> that, nice and that night his father carved the toe into three pieces and they each had a piece. Then they did the dishes when it got dark went to bed. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> they ser they seriously carved a toe and ate it for dinner. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that night is the boy fell asleep deep almost at once, but in the middle of the night a sound awakened him was something out, out, out in the street. It was a voice, and it was calling him. Where's my toe? It groaned. When the boy heard that, he got very scared. But he thought, it doesn't, it doesn't know where I am. It will never find me. Uh, sure, it will never find you. Then he heard the voice once more. Only now it was closer. Where is my toe? It groaned. By the way, guys, we're gonna be doing this until 7:55. Thanks for, thanks for eight, nine subscribers. The voice groaned. At this point, pop. Us, then jump at the person. Oh, the boy, he pulled the blankets over his head and closed his eyes. I'll go to sleep. He found when I wake up, it will be gone. But soon he heard the back door open. Uh oh. And again, he heard the voice. Where is my toe? Ground. And then the boy heard footsteps in the ki kitchen. We're gonna pause. Alright. The boy heard footsteps move, move through the kitchen into the dining room, into the living room, into the front hall. Then slowly they climbed up the stairs. Closer and closer they came. Soon they were in the upstairs hall. Now they were outside his door. Where's my toe? The voice groaned. His door opened, shaking with fear. He listened as the footsteps slowly moved move through the dark toward his bed. Then they stopped. Where's my toe? The voice groaned. At this point, Pause. Then, then. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you. Then the person jumped. Yeah, you're the, not supposed to do that. Part. Then the You've got it. The big it also has an underending. When the boy hears the voice call for its toe, he finds a strange look creature inside the chimney. The boy is so frightened he can't move. He just stands there and stares at it. Finally, he has what? What? You, you got such big eyes for? And the creature answers, to look through and through. What you got such big claws for? To scratch your grave. <gasps> Whoa, whoa. 
What? You got such a big mouth for to swallow oh, you whole. Whoa, whoa, what you got? <laughs> Sorry, said sharp teeth for to chomp your bones. <laughs> I think this child is dead. As you give the last You're line. Out loud. You're supposed to just read that part to yourself. As you get the last line, pounce on one of your friends to chomp your bones. <laughs> what the script said so. Chapter three. I mean, chapter two. The walk. My uncle was down a lonely dirt road one day. He came up on a mirror man who was who was walking down the road the man looked at my uncle and my uncle looked at the man the man was scared of my uncle and my uncle was scared of the man but they kept walking and it began to get dark the man looked at my uncle and my uncle looked at the man the man was very scared of my uncle <clears throat> my uncle was very scared of the man but they kept on walking and they came into ooh, a big woods. It was getting darker, and the man looked at my uncle. My uncle looked at the man. The man was really scared of my uncle. My uncle was really scared of the man, but they kept walking down into the woods. They went, and they went. It was getting darker. And the man looked at my uncle. And my uncle looked at the man. The man was bones. The man was scared and terrible. My uncle was terrible, scared of now. Yeah! <laughs> now scream. Alright, that's all I got guys for today. Bye.